everything, making my heart sing, bringing color to this brand new day. It's never been clearer, you draw me nearer, you're always with me and you're here right now. My song of melody, you're a perfect love for me. My heart is full of praise, your love is to learn about the greatest story ever told, the Bible. We unwrap a new big picture today. A hero rises and the big idea is the chosen one. <laughs> and our big word today is from 1 John 4, 14 and it says God sent his son to be the savior of the world. We saw his son and are now telling others about him. We've been going through the Old Testament, and it ends with the story of the prophets. Did you know that the prophets were people who heard messages from God and shared them with God's people? Yeah, it's so cool. And some of these messages that the prophets spoke were about Jesus. But it would be hundreds and hundreds of years before Jesus arrived. So God's people were waiting. They were waiting for a hero, and Jesus was on the way. And in the Bible, we learn about Jeremiah, a prophet who was only 12 or 13 years old, so young. We also learn about another young prophet named Daniel, who's, who worked in the palace. And he answered questions for the king. And Jonah, remember Jonah and the big fish? Jonah was sent on a mission from God to take a message to the people of Nineveh. Jesus, my friends, is the hero of our story. He is the chosen one sent by God to rescue us from sin. Jesus is God's son and our savior. 
in the Bible, remember, it, we've been learning about it. It's different from all other books. It's not just a book. It's the greatest story ever told, friends. So now let's take a look at our big message to learn more about our big point, and I'll see you back here in a few minutes. I'm Funny Man Dan. And I'm Max. We're so glad you could be with us today. I can see all of my friends. Yay! That's right, Max. We're here to have fun, explore the Bible, and learn all about the big point. What is today's big point, Max? I like to eat dessert in the desert. That's right. I like to eat dessert in the desert. <laughs> gotcha! You always get me, Max. But we still don't know the big point. Maybe our host, Amy, knows. Oh, Amy! Oh, hey, Funny Man Dan. Do you know today's big point? Of course I do. Jesus is God's son and our saviour. Thanks, Amy. We'll see you soon. And I'll see you soon. It's time to strap on your backpack, test out your binoculars, and fasten your seatbelt. Because today, Funny Man Dan, Max and you are going on a journey of discovery. But what about today's big badge? Oh, I almost forgot. After today's quest, we'll be earning a big badge. What's today's big badge, Max? The Chosen One badge. Ah, yes. That reminds me of the toughest choice you have to make when being in the desert. What? You can only choose one dessert. <laughs> Let's start today's adventure with a big story. See you soon, friends. We are getting near to the end of the Old Testament, which is filled with books written by prophets, those who were given a job by God to be His messengers. Isaiah was a prophet sent by God to the people of Israel, who had begun turning away from God and worshipping idols and false gods, doing whatever they pleased. He called them to turn away from their evil ways. Years later, the people of Israel were ruled by a nation called Babylon. God said to Israel, The days are coming when I will bring my people back from captivity and restore them to the land I gave their ancestors to own. The prophet Jeremiah had faith in the promises God had spoken to the people of Israel. There was another prophet named Jonah who received a calling from the Lord to preach to the people of Nineveh. But instead of obeying, he hopped on a ship going in the other direction. After being thrown off this ship and swallowed by a giant fish, he ended up obeying God. The people of Nineveh changed their evil ways to the disappointment of Jonah. He really didn't like those Ninevites. It was a long wait, over 400 years between the Old and New Testament, but the prophets teach us no matter how long it takes, God's promises will never fail. They show us God is merciful and will forgive us if we ask. We will continue to learn about God's promises as we learn more about the greatest story ever told. How awesome are superheroes? They get to wear super awesome outfits and fight off all the bad guys with their super cool karate moves. Hiya! <laughs> they always make it look so easy. I guess I'm not a superhero yet. Who's your favorite superhero? Do you love Wonder Woman like me? Or maybe Spider-Man's super awesome web action? Or Batman's fancy cool car? There are tons of amazing superheroes out there. And the one thing they all have in common is they exist in our imagination. 
We made them up. So I looked around for a real superhero. And I think I found him. He was alive 2,000 years ago. He's the son of God and he saved the day. Have any clues? Of course you do. Jesus is the ultimate hero. He's not from anyone's imagination. He's real and alive. You see, Jesus is the son of God. He even lived on the earth just like you and I do now. While Jesus was on the earth, he did some really cool miracles. He healed people who were sick and gave sight to people who were blind. But the biggest miracle Jesus performed was laying down his life for each and every one of us. But then, Jesus rose from the dead three days later, becoming the ultimate superhero, even beating death. Sure, there are a bunch of really awesome superheroes out there, but none of them compare to what Jesus did for us on the cross and the salvation he offers to each one of us. This is going to be so much fun. It's the first time I'm doing a craft using something for the bathroom. These two cardboard rolls are about to become a pair of binoculars, but they won't be boring plain binoculars. I have pretty tape to make them sparkle. Mum needs to help me with the hot glue to join them together. When I look through them, it brings things far away closer to me. I know we can't see Jesus, but Mum tells me he never leaves us. He is always there. Hello there, my micro little mighty mouse. Hi. <laughs> it's so good to be here at church, no? Church. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 my friend. <gasps> but I have had a rough week. No. Yes, 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 yes. You see, on Monday, I asked Dad to make soft boiled egg. He gives me hard boiled. Softer, Daddy, softer. Soft. On Tuesday, I asked Daddy to make me another soft boiled egg. It was medium boiled. Softer, Daddy, softer. Soft. On Wednesday, I asked Daddy to make soft boiled egg again. He gave me raw egg. Oh, so disappointing. Egg come from chicken. <laughs> you, you make a good chicken, my friend. That's very funny chicken. I like your work. And again. I'm going to be like Rooster. I've had so much fun learning about how Jesus is God's son and our savior. Jesus offers to save everyone who believes in him, like you and me. The stories in the Bible about Jesus healing the sick don't stop in the Bible. Jesus is still performing miracles to this day and we get to experience them. We can place our trust in Jesus because he really is the ultimate superhero. Do you want Jesus to be your superhero? Yeah! You do? Well then, I officially present you with today's big badge. <gasps> Chosen one. Another badge earned, another lesson learned. Bye. Hello. 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 <laughs> Jesus is God's son and our savior. Huh? Jesus is God's son and our savior? Jesus is God's son and our saviour. Help, help, help me! Welcome back, friends! Boy, do I love that funny man, Dad. Always, always cracks me up. So, I love the verse, our big word, 1 John 4, 14. The Father has sent his son to be the saviour of the world. Friends, it reminds me that God loves us so much, so much, that he sent his son Jesus to be our savior. That's seriously my favorite verse, and I think it might become one of yours as well. So that's it for today, my friends. Let's close in prayer. 
Thank you, God, for everything that you have done for us. We love you so much. Help us, Jesus, to put our faith, our hope, and our trust in you. Thank you, Father, for sending your son, Jesus, to be our savior and our hero. We love you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you can join me again next week. I'll see you later. Bye. God sent his son to be the savior of the world. Wow, oh, savior of the world. God sent his son to be the savior of the world.